she didn't miss me though. Uh, girl, well. I think she may have missed me a little. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are headed to the house, guys. Um, might have some issues with Snowball. I think he might have got run over while we were gone, but I think he's gonna be okay. Um, her daddy says he's gonna be okay. We're just going to nurse him back to health and maybe get him some antibiotics. Not sure yet what all we're gonna have to do, but we'll figure it out. All right, I got this out trick or treating tonight. We're just gonna go hit a couple of trunk or treats, aren't we? May not show much of it on here. We may show y'all in a minute when we get home and get her candy and all in her bucket, huh? You ready to go? We're gonna go up here to this trunk or treat. Look at all these candy guys. I got them from Halloween. From Halloween. Tell them where you got the trick or treat. My daughter's church. And then uh, Miss Rose's church. Ms. Another Rose lady we know. Church. And then where else? And at school. At school. And then this is where I got it from school. Now you got all of that from different places. I had to pour it in buckets and put it in Ziploc baggies. Uh, because you had so much candy. Guys, I'm serious. Look at this. Look. It, it's ridiculous. I keep on my mouth. Snowball? Yeah. No, but I will. Look, it's ridiculous, guys. I've never seen so much candy. <laughs> she gets stuff like this every year. Yay! Sunday morning, I was on my way home from the cruise. And Easton called me, and he had found Snowball out in... Oh, that's pitiful. Out in our shed. And he was hurt. Don't know what happened. Don't know if another dog got him. Don't know if he tried to get out of the fence and hurt himself. I don't know if he got out and got hurt and then got back in. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. But Easton found him Sunday morning hurt. I take him to the vet Thursday evening. Um, right now I'm doctoring him here at home. And I was going to show you guys what he looks like. He's pretty bad shape. But I'm just going to show you guys what he looks like. I went today <laughs> and I bought a comb to keep him from licking his wounds. And guys, he's never wore a cone. He don't know nothing about a cone. And you guys have got to see this. It's just pitiful. Hang on. Yeah. There he is. He doesn't like the cone. And he got really skinny because I don't think he eat for a couple of days, actually. But he's eating now. He's just really bad beat up. And he don't understand this cone. And I think once he gets used to the cone, that he will lay back down. Can you see his leg? It's all swelled up. And then he's got a big gash on this side of him over here that's really bad infected. He's skinny, but we are feeding him some good food. Um, I'm facing to feed him here in a minute. Um, I, I just feel terrible for him. He is walking around. He is wagging his tail when I come home. Um, not with a cone on, of course. But um, I'm going to get him took to the vet Thursday evening. And I'll keep you guys updated on how he does. But right now he's he's in some pain. I did give him a half of aspirin a while ago. Maybe that'll help for just a little bit. I did wash his wounds out with salt water, like the vet told me to. And I have some stuff I've been spraying on him. Um, on, on him. Well, I did yesterday and today. I'm going to some today. But it's this. Remotes healing, helps prevent scarring. Pits protect barrier, convenient liquid spray. Um, minor cuts and skin irritations and abrasions. So I'm hoping that it's like an antiseptic to clean them out. Horses and dogs. So anyway, we'll see. But I just hope that he uh, gets better. I do have a bunch of cruise video to post. Um, this video will probably go up first because I have a lot of editing to do on my cruise video. Um, and I had a really great time. I'll be sure and show you guys that when I get it edited. It'll probably be two videos, but um, I'll see how that goes when I start getting into it. So I'm fixing to put this candy up because Miss Pris has done got into it and we haven't even had supper yet. No, I just want a gummy. Uh -huh, you got into the candy. I'm just picking at you, baby. Gummies is fine. I'm going to fix us a plate. Got some macaroni and cheese and chicken pot pie. It's going to be awesome. No, that's what we're eating. 
Hi guys, I'm gonna show you guys what I got Alyssa from my trip. I'm gonna take it to her, let her get it out of the bags and show her what I got her from our little um, cruise. So we're gonna go in there now and show it to her. All right, you got your eyes closed? Let me see here, I'll come in here. All right. You can open your eyes. What in the world is that? <laughs> Sit up. up okay guys i'm giving her backpack i got her from the lease it's a mini mouse backpack she can put her baby doll stuff or whatever in it i thought it was cute it's homemade it's handmade in Belize, and it's got stuff in it this is a mardi gras mask i made her on the cruise ship decorated it give it to her not quite the right way but okay you got the idea <laughs> We'll just probably hang it up in your room somewhere. Okay, go ahead and see if you can take stuff out of there. It's going to be something breakable. Oh, this is Mama's. This isn't yours. But you can show it. I got me that. Why is this press? It's a turtle. Uh, this head. is a turtle from my mama. Yeah, I got me that. Okay, go ahead. Take him out. That one's yours. There's another one in here for Kinsley. It's a charm bracelet. It's got charms on it. See? A little duck. I found him on the ship to play with in the bathtub or the swimming pool or something to take his tag off of it. Mm -hmm. Another little duck. I want him at the arcade. And another little duck. She I found it on, well. Mr. Kenny found it on the ship. And that's a magnet that goes on the refrigerator. Look at it. It's little dolls. And it's got Roatan. They come from Honduras. Aren't they cute? And a turtle. No, is that a turtle? I think it's a turtle. It goes in the bathtub. It's a bathtub toy. I got him at the arcade too. And another duck. Oh, it's a piggy duck. Got everything? Yeah. Okay. So you got your your dolls and your charm bracelet. See there? And your bag. Okay. Ready? Got you a turtle. It's heavy. It's a stone turtle. I got that in uh, Cozumel, Mexico. You like that? You know, it's pretty. You like your stuff? Did you get any scissors? I did. You like your stuff, though? This is my little turtle. Isn't he cute? He is cute. It's purple. All right, guys, here's the charms. It's going to go on her charm bracelet. A little turtle, a starfish, an anchor, a ship's wheel, and sunshades. There's her charm bracelet. She's so cute. Yep, so cute. Okay, I have this that I got in from Belize. This is from Cozumel, and this is from Roatan. This. So this this little thing right here. Open it up. Let go out, and it's got a little place. You can come get your stuff, Easton. Hi, 
guys. We just wanted to do an update about Snowball. He did have to uh, spend the night overnight, but tomorrow I get to have my little puppy back. Yeah, I took him <laughs> to the vet today, and um, I think another dog attacked him, which is pretty much what we thought too. And they're going to clean his wounds and shave around them. Yeah, I don't know the rest. And do an IV of fluids and give him some antibiotics. They're going to yeah. send him home with antibiotics. And um, then hopefully he'll start getting better. They said I had done everything that I should do, you know, by keeping the wounds clean, spraying a septic spray in them and trying to keep him comfortable. That's been hard. Um, they are going to send him home with some pain medicine. So that will be good because bless his heart. He's been in so much pain. All in all, it's going to run me 400 bucks, but... I'm surprised they didn't do an x-ray. Who knows? I don't think they thought anything was broke. He might have a front paw broke, but hopefully it's a just real ball. swelled. Ball. His I front thought it was the back leg. Ball. His front leg is the one that he's, he's holding up. What? Yeah, it swelled up real bad. So, um, anyway, we're getting back tomorrow. Me and Alyssa went to the grocery store. We didn't do a grocery haul, but we got a whole bunch of stuff. We got some hamburger meat and pork it. chops, and I got stuff to make stew, but I didn't get stew meat. Yeah, I want to see so. what I made. And she's coloring right now. You want to see her colors? Yeah, there's her colors. It's yes, a dragon. Yes, drew, but... Who drew it? Miss Casey. Her teacher drew it, and she's coloring it. She's, she's a good artist. Yeah, and you're a good colorer, so you just keep going, baby girl. Just keep going. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, I guess that'll be all for our vlog. I will be getting my vlog up hopefully in the near future of my trip. Um, I know Alyssa's anxious to see it, and I'm, I'm anxious to get it edited. I'm anxious to see it too. I haven't seen much of the footage because I took all the footage. So I'm really anxious to do that, but this week has been really crazy. So it could possibly be next week before I get that up. I barely got a few things unpacked today. Sorry, guys. Um, I had so much unpacking to do, and I'm still not done unpacking. I still have two suitcases to unpack. I've unpacked two. I've still got two to go. So, yeah, that's fun. Um, but we will see you guys in our next video. Please like and subscribe. And give us a big thumbs up. And peace. Peace.